Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. This is the third uh, robotics uh, problem related to forward and inverse kinematics using uh, Tenevit Hardenberg convention or modeling. Okay, uh, without further delay, let us quickly jump into the problem. Okay, so this is the robot we are talking about for this tutorial problem. It has three degrees of freedom, one revolute join, another prismatic join, and third revolute join. And this is the tip of the robot tool. So we would like to find the DH uh, table and find the transformation matrix for this problem. Now, the solution is given here. Uh, but I'm going to explain you uh, every details uh, in this problem. Uh, the first and foremost, we have to, as you know, we have to define the z-axis. Uh, so this is the z0 because it is revol uh, revolving ar uh, about this z0-axis. This is z1 because this is translating along this axis and this one this joint this is z2 because it has a revolution about the z2 axis okay now um, similarly we can find out uh, the x okay first x0 is, is our freedom to choose and y0 can be chosen based on the right hand rule second x1 we have to follow the rules uh, that means our right hand rule so we put our thumb along z0 and our index along z1 then we will find from the right hand rule x1 in this direction and similarly we can find x2 and x3 as well okay now, um, for the case of um, this technique, we have to remember that any x-axis must intersect the z-axis of the frame before it. Uh, so we have to check, uh, for x0 we don't have to check because there is no frame before it, but for subsequent x1 we have to check whether it is intersecting the z0 or not. If you understand clearly, this Z0 is actually coming out of this screen. And this X1 is on this screen. So there is no chance that X1 will be intersecting this Z0. So what? So the solution for this, we have to translate this whole frame so that it intersect with the Z0. So that's what we have done. So we have translated this whole frame here. Now it is intersecting this Z0. How about for other x-axis, uh, they are already intersecting the previous Z. Like for example, this uh, X2, if you, uh, if you uh, extend this Z1, yes, they are intersecting. For uh, x3 also if you extend uh, this uh, because this is going into the uh, coming out of this uh, screen but if you extend this x3 it is intersecting here so uh, this x has no problem only x1 has the problem had the problem and we uh, brought it in this direction we translate the whole frame of reference so that it intersects but you have to keep it in mind though we have translated the whole frame of reference but it is still attached to this frame of reference in this uh, joint so now this is our dh table as you can see so we can do the needful as before so if we find uh, we want to find for transformation for 0 to 1 so we have to get a1 alpha 1 d1 and theta1 a1 for this case is 0 because a1 is distance between z0 to z1 measured along x1 so z0 
to z1 uh, there is no change along x1 so hence this is 0 1 to 2 z1 to z2 along x2 there is no change in this direction so that's why it's 0 and finally um, z2 to z3 along x3 along x3 this is basically i3 so we have here i3 now alpha is uh, for every cases it's 90 degree uh, because alpha is uh, z for alpha 1 is z0 to z1 measured about x1 so z0 is coming out of the screen and this is z1 is along this line so this is x1 so you have to rotate uh, right if you use your right palm to rotate then you rotate 90 degree and your thumb will be pointing this direction that means it's positive 90 degree similarly z1 to z2 uh, z1 to z2 um, about x2 so this is point uh, again uh, coming out of the screen so if you have to rotate it so you have to rotate uh, using your palm and the thumb will be pointing downwards so this is also 90 degree positive and finally z2 to z3 z2 to z3 also about x3 you will have it 90 degree you can check it out okay now uh, for the case of these um, in the case of uh, d1 there is no change from x0 to x1 along z0 so x0 to x1 there is no change along x0 z0 so this is 0 but there is a change for x1 to x2 i suppose x1 to x2 about z1 so which is basically i2 and which is a variable and x2 to x and x2 to x3 about uh, z2 there is no change so hence this is zero as well for the case of uh, theta one that means this angle as you can see if you put this whole thing uh, horizontally that means uh, straight line uh, at certain at that point also you will have x0 to x1 90 degree shift that's why you have 90 degree plus theta 1 and x1 and x2 pointing opposite direction that's why their angle is uh, 180 degree and same goes for x2 to x3 um, this is basically 90 degree plus theta 3 because even if you make it straight uh, straight line uh, horizontal still your x3 is pointing upward so you will have basically uh, pointing uh, this direction pointing sorry pointing in this direction so you will have basically 90 degree shift so that's why you have 90 plus theta okay so this is your individual transformation matrix as you know and if you put in all these values here so you will have three transformation matrix and you multiply all these three you will have the final transformation matrix as follows so this is your three individual transformation matrix and if you multiply all these three then you will get this full transformation matrix for this robot so as you can see this x is uh, l2 c1 i2 c1 plus i3 c1 3 so i2 is basically this one c1 is this theta angle which is uh, this theta uh, cos theta one okay and c13 is the angle between uh, this uh, horizontal with respect to this this whole angle now um, this is x direction x0 direction so that's why this is the cos component and this is your y0 direction so that's why it is the sine component and as you can see this solution is basically nothing but a two link robot solution only thing is the link length of i2 is variable for this case 
that's the only difference otherwise is basically the solution for the two link robot you can check it back uh, from your previous slides okay so that's it for this uh, tutorial I hope you have understood and uh, you enjoyed the video thank you very much assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh